Hello there and welcome back to Starcom Nexus. We are continuing the exploration with hello. Hello, bird person. Unidentified vessel. Now I'm even going to give you a voice. Unidentified vessel, you are not transmitting with a recognized treaty group identifier. Okay, let's just. Hmm. We are strangers in this region of space. We seek peaceful exchange of ideas and goods. Brock! I am Regional Commander Karast. Sorry, I couldn't resist doing a voice. Of the Arona Dispersed Fleet, I am transmitting through this vessel's comm array as its commander does not have diplomatic authority. As an unaffiliated vessel, you are ordered to pay a transit fee of 10 Karolite to depart this region. Oh my god, really? Those who may force a military response for us. Uh, we refuse to be extorted. You have been warned. Yeah, screw you. We can take you on. Uh, what the devil? Do they have cloaks? What on earth's going on here? Hmm? Oh, oh. Yeah, I ain't afraid of you. Oh, we went straight through them. And uh, they've teleported out. That is some crazy stuff right there. Where do they go? Down there. Arona. I'm just going to call you the Arona, I think. Oh, he's, he's going back for help. Going back for help, you cheeky. Come on, there we go. Blew you up. I need that Kyra light for my reactors, thank you very much. Oh, we got quite a bit from you. You guys are good. Hmm. Anyway, let's go explore this planet before we uh, introduce ourselves a little bit more formally, shall we say. Okay. Well, 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 well. No anomalies. Okay, what have we got? An other interceptor, destroyer, scout. Okay. Yep, here we go. And yep, keep forgetting you can do that. There we go. Got some hits. They're not the most powerful, actually. That's kind of their. Yeah, yeah, we can take them apart. But they have the ability to run away. Ooh, let's take out this scout. There we go. <laughs> Do a fairly easy work. Oh, nice. Oh, that wasn't the scout, that was just what was left of it. Huh. Alright. Uh, Kytic Destroyer. Huh. So you guys are like buds with the Kytic then, huh? And did you just destroy all my missiles? Nearly. Came close to it. Okay. So, oh, Kytic Battle Cruiser. Oh, is that another one of those big boys? Oh yeah, let's go take out a big boy. And what's down there? Is that a friendly? Is that another gate? Uh, survey in progress. Let's see. Three enormous of pillars of stone. Yeah. Isn't this the, the control room entrance for these submerged at about 50 meters beneath the sea? With relatively calm water, several divers quickly descend. The entrance is guarded by a tribe of apparently intelligent, manatee-like creatures. They seem to understand that the chamber has value if not exactly why. They demand either 30 tons of particular species of local fish or 20 gold as payment for opening the eye. Let's give them, uh, you know what, let's give you guys some gold. Show of non-lethal force. While the tribe doesn't allow the team to enter the sacred room, the ship detects the telltale EMP pulse of the eye opening. That going fishing could have taken forever. <laughs> We're not here to do some fishing. Alright, there we go. So we've got a Nexus Gateway all the way back if we want, so that's that's nice. Um, we've got our way out, should we need it. I want to take on this. We've got a battle cruiser and a frigate. Oh hey. Oh hey. Lot of you. Ooh, that hurt. Get rid of some of these missiles. That is a Look at that thing. I'll take it on on my own. Probably not the best idea. Right, I think he's going to out-laser us. That said, we're doing very well to not take uh, damage from our hull. I think we need a few more missiles than that. Huh. Funny, we got a hit. Nice couple of hits there. Pew, 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 pew. Good stuff. Uh, what's he doing now? He's just sort of loitering about. These battle cruisers, they're not, they're not the most, uh, not the worst things I've come across, to be honest with you. They're just hefty. 
very hefty. There's something up there though. Oh, I have to be careful. Oh, that was a big boom. That was a big boom. Love it. Right, give me your resources. Thank you. And you. Right, there's something up here apparently. Another one of those Arona ships. And we're getting some nice hits on it. Very good. No missiles ready. There we go, he's down. Alright. I can take y'all on. No problem at all. Alright, let's uh, scan this Class D planet. Okay, nothing here. Hmm. And oh my goodness, we're getting very close to the anomaly. Or the coordinates or whatever. Not really an anomaly. Well, it is, I guess. We don't know what's there. Okay. We got over here. Planets, and I guess we just make the journey down there, it's given it's pretty close. Alright, nothing on this gas giant. What have we got over here? Oh, something on this class F planet. Okay, what is there? A quick bit of coffee. Hmm. A primitive village of stone hut sits incongruously in the lee of an old starship. Hmm. The inhabitants several hundred enormous furry bipeds reveal their story via the Universal Translator. Several decades ago, they decided to give up their space-varying culture and return to here, their planet of origin. Now they lead a simpler lifestyle. On trajectory, they were forced to jettison a large piece of cargo to change trajectory. Wait. Did I just read that word twice? Uh, okay. The object, which they describe as a large golden octahedron, has no particular practical function. Although they did attach great sentimental value to it. Unfortunately, they have no idea where it is now. Okay. So we can perhaps go and uh, find that for them. That's pretty neat. Pretty neat indeed. Okay. Let's uh, take a look at this planet down here, and then we'll look at the one up there. Make our way back down. So let's scan this class F. Class F. Nothing there. What have we got over here? Sentinel base! Ooh, can we take on a sentinel base? I doubt it. Hmm. Well, we've got to explore it. Of course, we have to explore it. That's a tough... He's got shields! He's got shields! Right, well, we did what we could. Oh my word, that is a... I don't know what happened to the sound there, but it seemed to go all... Go all funny. Right, let's wait for another full volley of missiles. Okay. Five will do. Damn it. Oh, the shields went down. A couple of hits. Okay. Withdraw. Good stuff. Okay. So, we can do this. We can do this. Get back up to five missiles. Make another swing from around here. Okay. Round three. The shields are down. No, they're back up there. No. No, no. I don't think that's happening. I think we're going to need a bigger ship. I should think. Uh, oh, what's this? I wonder if this is the... No, it's not. It's not really an oct octagonal object, is it? Or is it made of gold? What are you? Autonomous station. This remote station has a complex array of medium-range radio antennae. The team engineer speculates that it may be used to coordinate the movement of remote ships or drones. Ooh, I wonder if that's got something to do with the Sentinels. Perhaps if we found an example of whatever it is it communicates with, we'd have a better understanding of its command system. Alright, cool story. Why is it further investigation? Wait, can we... is there anything else to explore on it? I figured it probably would have given me that option, though. No drones or whatever. Hmm. Okay, well, the space rust, bu rust bucket isn't quite going to be able to take out that base, I don't think. Maybe not without shields of our own. But let's go down to these coordinates. I've forgotten what these coordinates were related to. To be honest with you, oh, we're nearly there though. Here it is. Did not take long, did it? Okay. Oh, oh, it's, ah, it's the probe that some people's lost, isn't it? Yes, an analysis of this autonomous probe shows that it was designed to detect and collect data on rare comets. Not only does it have a significant amount of valuable data, 
Its sensor design allows us technology that should aid in locating these elusive objects. All right. Investigation complete. Cool. Um, well, we've explored up there. I guess what we should do is go down here. Since we've not gone down here yet. Go into the unknown. I mean, look at this. We've <laughs> starting to wrap around. Alright. Bunch of planets. Nothing hostile. Nothing friendly. And we've got a wormhole. And we've got a hostile. Sentinel Cutter. We can take that out. Arona Interceptor. Don't really care for these Arona. Not at all. What about this class A3? Hello! Ah! Ah! Come on! Come on! Yes! Yes! Retrieved an alien probe! Swarm probe captured! Our tractor beam was caught in an advanced autonomous probe based on the design. Engineering thinks it's a swarm probe, probably released in large numbers to survey the galaxy with the expectation most would be destroyed. 250 research points. That is awesome! That is so cool. Alright. Well, let's take a look down here. Sensors detect an indistinct anomalous reading beneath the surface of the waves. Surface conditions on this part of the planet make for dangerous conditions. Uh, we've done this once before and it didn't go so well. Let's just... We've still got 20 crew. I want to see if we can keep it at 20. Also appears that we don't have any... Uh, hmm. Don't really have much else to look at over here. Uh, let's go... We're sorry, we don't have any hostiles about... Don't know where they've gone. Don't care. Let's continue the exploration. In here, yep, yeah, there's something on this A3 planet. Okay. Line in... in all right, I need to learn to say this, this word correctly. Incongruously. Uh, whatever. In a field is a standard Starcom Class 70 transport container. It appears to be heavily scuffed and shows signs of heat damage, but is otherwise intact. Inside are mostly ashes, apparently from an incinerated octopaper. The team engineer speculates that this low mass container may have survived atmospheric re-entry. Well, let's open the container. An ultraviolet scan of the inside of the container is able to reconstruct partial document, visibly etched into the casing. Uh, delivered to Morningstar Labs, Neural Research Division. Oh, there we go. And some people. No explanation for the presence of that that uh, container. Presumably that was part of the big Nexus wave that brought us here. Probably just dumped that out there randomly. Okay. What about this? Class L planetoid. Nothing here. Let's uh, yeah. Let's go. Let's go deeper, shall we? Let's go deeper. Okay. Let's not. <laughs> Missed it again. All right. There we go. Where are we go. Whoa. Getting quite far away, aren't we? And uh, we've got something here. A Rona Striker. Have we seen one of these before? Hello, you appear to be... Luckily, managed to get some nice hits with the missiles, but wow, does that thing have a lot going for it. Appears to fire in bursts, though. Damn it, I'm too close. It's teleported away. And he's got a few buddies as well back there. Let's get a little bit closer. Alright, almost got him. Damn it. Yes, there we go, he's down. Okay, give me all the bits he's got, please. There's another striker, I don't think we can take on that much. Okay, need to work, I do think I actually need to work on the tractor beam. Oh, I just saw um, Adamantine there. Alright, All right, try and stay away from the striker, see if we can get rid of some of these weak ones here, like that. Damn it. Damn it. Damn you. Yeah, they're, they're getting more confident. They're on to me. They're on to me. <laughs> uh, I can see why these things are particularly dangerous. There we go. Got a couple of missiles. Almost some hits. Oh, I'm taking some damage. We've lost a crewman as well. That striker is very, very dangerous. Perhaps I need to focus on the striker. Damn it. That's 
just shoot, shoot, shoot it. Shoot the damn thing. Oh yes, we just got some really good hits on it there. Damn it, the missile. Very good at evading these missiles, isn't it? Alright, we're down to half hull, which isn't very good, coincidentally. So let's back off for a moment. Right, wait till he jumps one more time. Come on, jump. I dare you. There you go. There we go, come on. Finish it off. Oh, so close. So close. Nice. That was good. Another missile. Go. Get rid of this striker. Oh, that just ate up my missile. There we go. He's almost down. He's almost down. Should we get him? Come on. Come on. Yes, that was a great hit. Did you see that? Yes, he's down. Okay, that's the big boy. And start working on this other one here that's pretty well beat up. That was good, that was good. He's actually gone quite far. Alright, well let's scan this Class D planet. Hey, what's that? A trader. Very nice. So he's, he's in retreat. Ooh. We had to stand my ground there. More of those ruins of the fallen gods. We have no idea what planet they are talking about. Hello, trader. You're, you're friendly. We like you. I don't suppose you've got any more things for me to buy. Say, stories or whatever. Things for knowledge? Yes, the oct octahedron. Okay. So, we've got 10 platinum. We go things for things. We can probably trade stuff for that platinum. We only have 21 new training, but we've got a ton of this. So we need 50 platinum. A ton of trium. There we go. Execute the trade. Thank you. Things for knowledge. Tell me the story of the octahedron. We spied a ship that sailed home, but the tides were against it. The choice, their treasure or their home. They cast their treasure into the undeep. A drop of sun in the shape of eight. We went fast to retrieve this precious drop of sun, but our counsellor said, This was left in hard choice. Let it linger. Its owners may return. So it drifted. We have not occasion to return. Okay, cool. So it's out somewhere. By a drop of sun, I can only assume. So what coordinates have you given me? Anything? Hmm. No? Is that it there? That is it, isn't it? It's up there. Wow, all the way back there. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, we'll go and do that at some point. But for now, we've got an incoming hostile. All right, he's gone. <laughs> ah, we dealt with him, very nice. Uh, let's continue to explore these bird people. They are... Uh, Pretty nasty. Their striker ships are pretty good, actually, aren't they? Ah, good look at that. We've got another Nexus gate. That is excellent news. Okay, you're coming back for some more. You want some? Hmm? Do you? No, we'll be able to handle you. There you go. All done. Give me some of your juicy rewards. There we go. Tell you what, they're full of Chirolite and such resources. Very nice. Mm-hmm. I'm just wondering actually. I might nip back and get that octahedron before we continue exploring. Oh, is it all the way up there, right? So if we go to that Nexus gate, jump up there, we can quickly nip up and get that, I reckon. That seems fine. Yeah, let's do that. What's this? Another interceptor? Whatever, buddy. I'm not interested. I'm only interested in getting back. Up here for now. All the way up here. Let's go pick it up. And what the devil's moved in here? Kytic. Go away. Just missiles on everyone. <laughs> I'm I'm really starting to feel like the bad guy here. <laughs> the amount of things I'm killing, the amount of loss of life. 
But then again, they are pretty, pretty mean and pretty hostile, aren't they? These guys, they, they should have learned to play nicely, but no, they didn't want to play nicely. You want to be mean, don't you? Yeah, exactly. I can destroy you with some lasers. Sort yourself out, mate. Get out of there. Get out. Not even worth the resources you drop. All right. Through the wormhole, please. We'll do it someday, I swear. Okay. And up here we are. Lovely. What's up there? Sorrowed Explorer. I haven't seen you guys in a while. I remember this. This is where we uh, befriended them, isn't it? We found one of their lizard people. There's like the so that's the Sorin, did I say? I meant Sorid. Yeah. We found the survey team, didn't we? That was it. Okay. And we've got an unexplored star up here. There we go. Because we've now got the long range sensors. So we can find a lot more stuff uh, out in the wilderness. Anyway, we are now picking up some speed. We'll be there in no time. Okay, we're slowing down. We've also got hostiles about. Just appear to be kitic though, so don't think we need to worry too much. A few missiles for you, a few for you. There we go. That should do it. Thank you. Scan the planet. Alright, nothing detected. How close are we to this anomaly? We're getting there. Uh, let's go take a look at that planet, then this one. And see what we find. I wonder if they'll give us anything as a reward. We'll probably get research points. I'm sure they've got great technology. Or maybe it'll give me the option to keep it, whatever it is. <laughs> Although they said it has no practical purpose, does it? It's more of a relic. Alright, nothing there. And over here, anything nice? Probably not. Looks like a sort of deserty type world. Class D planet, probably. Yeah, looks like it. Class R. Nope, nada. And yeah, okay, that's above. It's above it. Okay. Uh, what have we got? Kytic Destroyer. Not much of a destroyer, are you? Right, there we go. Scan this. Nothing here. Okay, there it is. There's a couple of things around here. We've also got... Oh, another Nexus Gate. Well, that is fantastic. Oh, there we go. We've just gone flying past it. Hold up. Just looking at what you were. Is that it? Get nice and close. Can't really make it out, can you? Hmm. This matches the lost object described by those very natives of the Arctic village. While not pure gold, it does have a high percentage of the metal, 70 units in total. Extract the precious metal, I knew it would do that. Let's take the artifact intact. Yeah, that would have been a bit cruel. Wouldn't want to do that. Maybe they'll be insulted that we uh <laughs> that we took it. I don't know. Hmm. Anyway, let's uh, take a look at whatever this is. Oh, hello, it's another relic, is it? Wait, does this one have mines? Oh, wow, discovery, massive structure. We've never seen astro engineering on this scale before. Even with no idea what it does, we can learn a great deal from its structural schematics. Well, let's investigate. This enormous station is comprised entirely of machinery. Scans show no habitable interior space. Engineering is unable to guess at its purpose, but its elements of the design show similarities to our sh engine's warp field generators, but at much larger scale. Leave it alone for now. I'm willing to bet because we're going to give them the object, they are going to tell us about this structure. That is probably what's going to happen. Most likely. Okay, at least we've got a quick way back. So, stop for a moment. Now we want to go all the way back down here, don't we? So what, where was their planet? Was it up here? No, it's down here, isn't it? Was it down here? That's fine. It's still okay? Still recording? Yeah, still recording. That was close. I just clicked off the screen, basically. <laughs> uh, hmm. I've forgotten what planet it was. 
No, seriously. <laughs> You've all been explored and I don't know which one you are. Uh, you're probably not there though, so I'm actually going to go down here. Because it couldn't be any further than this. Okay. So you're still floating about. Corona Interceptor. Another one up there. Pretty sure it wasn't in here, it was up here somewhere. Uh, we've also got a warp. Now, a wormhole there probably takes us up there, I reckon. Okay, anyway. Pium, pium. Let's go back up here. For gonna say, can I just. <laughs> I'm the worst at this. You're not a very strong wormhole, are you? Alright, what's over here? What you got for me? Alright. Were you down here? No, it was a very snowy planet, wasn't it? What are you? What are you guys about? Show yourselves. Come on. Gotta see who you are. No anomalies detected. What even are you? Sentinel Cutter. Alright, let's take you on. Take you on, sunshine. Well, we can, we can take him on. Yes! All eight missiles, baby. There, we got more cutter technology, I think. Nanobot repair swarm has attached to ship. Okay. Is that good? Well, there, yeah, it's a repair swarm, right? Hello. Oh. Um, transfer, no. Go away, we've been through this. You have been warned. Ah! Wolf, that was close. Almost a little collision there. Out of range or no missiles ready? Damn it, these strikers are tough. Uh, we're gonna leave you. We don't need we don't we really don't need you anyway. Um Ah, you up here. Autonomous vessel. There, that's where we need to go. That's where I was meant to go all along. Should have gone to that next escape. Oops. <laughs> Alright, let's roll. Let's roll out. And I wonder if they'll give us maybe help with that probe. No, we've already gone for that probe, haven't we? Yeah. Not an issue. Mm, what was this again? That was the weird structure as well. Bit of a weird one. But anyway, we're closing on the planet. Finally found it. There's this one here, this Arctic village. So let's go ahead and return their golden octahedron. Okay, we are here. Hello, I come bearing gifts. Golden gifts. Okay. The fairy natives welcome the returning survey team and inquire if they've seen their lost golden octahedron. Yes, here it is. The villagers are delighted to finally have their missing octahedron. Of course, what is life but without an octahedron? They have little to offer in thanks, but treat the survey team to a broth. Really? Oh, that's what we can make? A broth? The team describes the broth as surprisingly delicious. Okay, well, that's alright then. Not 70 units of gold delicious, but good enough to bring back bring back to the space rust bucket and spice up the menu. <laughs> Was that it? <laughs> You're supposed to give me technology. Your old technology. I guess they probably uh, threw it all away, didn't they? Oh. Oh well, never mind. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Uh, I kind of want to have another go at destroying this base up here. We, we, we did do a little bit of damage to it. If I recall, we did do a little bit of damage. But, uh... Yeah, alright, let's just... Anything to do with you? Apparently, to communicate with the swarm probes we encountered, the command system is far too complex for us, us to override. Oh yeah, we did, we picked up a swarm probe. This is the control station. Um, it's too complex for us to override, but the team engineer thinks we might be able to research a technology that could make them easier to catch. Okay, so do we need like to catch a bunch of them? Not sure how that works, but fine, whatever. Pium, pium, pium. Ow, that base is way too powerful. Alright, that base is way too powerful. We are not going to be able to take on that. Uh, okay, the quickest way I think back down there is probably jumping through here and using the Nexus gate to get back down there. Yeesh. I do want to build a uh, a better ship, bigger, better ship to take on that base though. I think I've probably got enough components to add a couple more modules 
So we will do that. We also got all these stars down here. Need to go and explore as well. Um, oh, hey. Uh, <laughs> get out of my way. Uh, didn't expect you to be so present, I suppose. Does every, everybody die? Go away. I don't have anything to do with any of you. We're out of here. Seriously, Kaitik, you guys suck. You guys suck. Alright, let's go down here. Alright, hello. Hello. Nice to see you. Uh, we've still got some planets to explore, actually. Mm, we'll just launch a couple of missiles. He's probably going to jump, I imagine. Go on, do a little dance. Yeah, so close. There we go. He's gone all the way down there. Come on, tractor beam. Probably scan that planet while we're at it. Any anomalies? Yes. Can't start a hostile nearby. That's fine. Let's explore it now while they've uh, done a runner. Whatever the anomaly detected from Orbit is, it's around here somewhere within a dense jungle. Okay, um, don't get eaten by anything. Plus one gold. Hmm. Inside the fissure opens into a large cave system. Handheld scanner detect traces of gold. Almost immediately, the team's engineer literally stumbles over a fist-sized rock of the glittering metal. Let's keep searching for gold. Oh wow. Oh, what? Where's this going to go? The team searches, but finds no more substantial deposits. Okay, come back to the ship because you're going to trigger a cave-in or something, aren't you? All right, let's. Oi. Go on, go on, go on. Jump, I dare ya. I dare ya. Oh, you didn't even bother. Well done, just, yeah, you might as well just die. Nothing. I have nada. Okay, oh, that's fine. There's some good damage there anyway. Man, it must be nice being those traders. You just get to watch all these fights. Alright, we've got a hit. Go on, you coward. Get back here. Come on. Nice. That was a good hit. Anything? Where's he? Is he trying to get away again? Alright, that should do it. Nice. Good work. Tell you what, they give us a lot of resources, don't they? Seven titanium, tritium, neutronium, chirolite. Very good. It's that adamantine I want, though, for the shields. Once we get shields, we can, uh. <laughs> Bit of a game changer, I imagine. Okay, what have we got down here? We've got more stars over there. And we got a wormhole there. Alright, well, do you know what? I think I'm going to leave it this, uh, leave it for this time. I'm going to waddle along with my Ulico trader. Oh no, where's he going? My, my best bud here. Hey. Um, am I getting a bit too close? Sorry, I'll give you your personal space. I'm sorry. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.